Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own Minecraft server on your PC. So down in the description there is a link uh, where it will take you to the Minecraft.net uh, page, the official uh, download page for their server. And when you're here you want to look for the download and then there should be a little link here. So there's uh, Minecraft underscore server dot 1.10.2.jar, that's the current version. If you're watching this in a future video, or if you're watching this later down the line, I mean, uh, it follows the same concept. So just, you know, follow along and you'll actually see how it doesn't change anything. So, but anyway, it, it says it's um, it might harm your computer. It is not. It's an official file from the official website. So we've downloaded it. Now we can stick it into the folder on my desktop. So I've just made a folder called Minecraft Server. When we're in here, so we'll open that up. And now you want to actually go back to the web page and copy the red code. So just highlight it and press copy. Now you want to go back into the folder. And the first thing you want to do is actually go down to rename and get rid of the numbers off the back. Just like that. So it just says Minecraft underscore server. Nothing else. Now we want to make a text document. So there's a text document. We'll edit it. You don't have to name anything. And that code, what we copied earlier, we're going to paste in here. And as you can see, that name here, Minecraft underscore server, matches this name here. Them two names have got to match exactly so it can run. And uh, what this is, it is just a Java command, so it's executing this file when this is uh, clicked. Now we want to go to save as. And then we want to go, we don't have to go all files, but you can. And we want to call it, you can call it run start, um, you can call it anything, the only thing you got to do at the end of it is go dot bat and then save. Now that is a executable file, so we'll actually delete that old text document. So now you got these two and all you got to do is click on the run file and the CMD should open up, but it should close straight away. And now you've got the EULA, so you want to click on the EULA file, so we'll edit it. And then you want to type in here, true. So this is, you're accepting the uh, EULA, so the end user agreement. And you can read about it on that web link there. So now we'll save that, exit out, and we should be able to run the server again. So now it's, it's created all these files here, as you can see. Now it's creating the world. So we'll just let that run. And there we go, now it's done. So normally I like to stop it and then restart the server and as you can see there's no more errors because everything's been created and it is done so now we can actually load up minecraft so we'll click and then we'll play right then let's get into multiplayer so there's you can, there's two ways to connect your server you can actually have the server here like you can uh, press add, you know you can add a server and your IP is localhost or you can go direct connect and then just join the server so we're joining using the IP localhost and we'll give it a second so we have spawn in the jungle now just give the you know the server a second to load up because it's first time everyone's ever in as you see it's uh, can't keep up it's that's normally because there's not enough RAM added to the server uh, you don't always get it, sometimes you get it, but this is probably because it's the first time I've logged into a server, so don't worry if you get that error. You can always fix it by adding more RAM, and there's a video uh, in the description, a, a link to a video where it shows you how to add more RAM. So first first thing you want to do is actually op yourself. So we'll get, your, get my right name in there. So I've OP'd myself, and as you see here, server opt quad member. And now I can actually use creative. And I can fly around. So yeah, that is how you actually make your server. And if you want to stop your server, you can just go stop. Now, let's say if you want to invite your friend onto your server, you need to port forward. So that's actually port forwarding through your router at home to make it, you know, global. Uh, the way you do that is, well, the easiest way, there's a link down in the description taking you to another person's YouTube channel who I like to watch, I, you know, who I learned how to port forward off. So I recommend to go and see his video. He tells you everything, he explains everything behind it. So go and, go and watch that. If there's any problems, you know, you can comment on his video, but I can try and help you. But just remember, port forwarding is very hard because it's different for everybody. 
So now we're going to go and uh, diagnose some stuff. So in the last, so this is like an update video. So in the last server tutorial, we were having a lot of people um, having problems when they double click their run file. It's not opening up, but it clo you know, opens up for a millisecond and closes sort of thing. The easiest way to fix that is to come down to your search bar, type in Java, click on Java, and then all you gotta do is go over to updates and press update now. Mine is already updated, and that is how you update. If that still doesn't work, what you want to do, you want to uninstall your Java, all your Java stuff, and then reinstall it, and hopefully that will fix the problem. But you need to remember, Google is your friend in this situation. Uh, you can always, there's a lot of articles on Google, but saying that, feel free to comment down below, because I don't mind helping anyone, you know, as long as they, you know, ask nicely. <laughs> Simple as. Anyway, guys, that is it. So that is how you make a server, and uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, like, favourite, go and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you next time in the next video, goodbye.